Item number, SCP-699. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-699 is to be kept in a standard 8 meter by 8 meter by 5 meter research bay, which was built around the object in the sub-basement of Site-83. The object shall be guarded at all times by two level 1 personnel who have had a negative reaction to the object, see below, and have shown no interest in opening it. In addition, the artifact is to be kept under video surveillance at all times. Unauthorized attempts to open SCP-699 will be met with severe disciplinary procedures, up to and including termination. Any signs of an escape attempt by the contents of SCP-699 must immediately be reported to a Level 4 staff member so that further containment procedures can be initiated. Any containment breach is to be met with full force. Description SCP-699 is a clear rectangular case, 2.5 meters by 1.5 meters by 1 meter in size. Engraved on one side is the SCP Foundation Keter symbol and SCP-17591. The artifact appears to be plexiglass, but is in fact a super-dense polymer, much stronger and heavier than any material currently manufactured. The weight of the object is estimated at 24,000 kilograms. SCP-699 shows no seams in its construction and no obvious means of opening it. It has resisted all attempts to open, damage, or acquire a sample of the material it is composed of. Attempts to acquire a small sample of the material so that it can be reproduced are ongoing. The contents of SCP-699 are under investigation and currently in dispute among researchers. The contents of SCP-699 are apparently telepathic and appear differently to most observers, depending upon their desires and psychological state. 90% of observers see the contents in a positive way, as something they want to possess or to release. These viewers have reported seeing precious metals, artwork, family members, pets, religious figures, and apparently useful technology contained in SCP-699, and experience a strong desire to open the container. Approximately 9% of observers have a negative reaction to SCP-699's contents and view something frightening or dangerous. Reported contents have included spiders, snakes, demonic humanoids, and other dangerous SCP artifacts, including SCP- These observers do not exhibit any desire to release the contents of SCP-699. Two observers. Dr. and Dr. have observed the same thing when viewing SCP-699. They claim it is entirely empty. It's obviously just a prank. Dr. The contents of SCP-699 are capable of appearing in different forms simultaneously to multiple observers. Other than the form masking telepathy and the transmission of a desire to be released, SCP-699 has not attempted to communicate with anyone. Addendum SCP-699 was first discovered when it appeared in the third floor break room of Site-83 at 3.14 a.m. on 2000. Due to its weight, it immediately crashed through several floors of the site, landing undamaged in the sub-basement. Unfortunately, it caused $1 million in damage to the building, released SCP and SCP was crushed beneath it upon landing. SCP-699 is too heavy to move without causing major structural damage to Site-83, so containment was built around it. A partial report on SCP-699 was found attached to the artifact. This report is for Level 4 and above eyes only. Unfortunately, most of the report was damaged when SCP-699 arrived and is unreadable. Item SCP-17591 Object Class Keter Date of Capture 
2455. Researcher in charge, Dr. B. Notes. 762455. SCP 17591. Who calls, report damaged. Self. Report damaged and unreadable. Desires to implement. Report damaged. Referred to as Protocol Z within this document. As this is obviously undesirable, and given subject's ability to report damaged. Placed in a standard Keter class containment vessel. Report damaged. Added data expunged to containment protocol to prevent report damaged. After escape or recapture, and extensive damage to site. Ability to influ. Report damaged. Protocol Z. At a distance of 5, report damaged. For concern. 872455. Escape attempts continue. Subversion of site. Personnel required termination of Dr. And Researcher B. Report damaged. 272466. Escape imminent. Experimental containment procedure T to be implemented immediately. We believe the inhabitants of the receiving timeline lack the report damaged and will for many years. Note from the records clerk. I am not about to mess up our database and call this thing SCP-17591. It is SCP-699 until further notice. Note from O5. Do not start tossing recalcitrant or dangerous artifacts into the nearest dimensional portal. It is clearly not safe for many of the items under our control, and there is significant debate among senior staff over whether it should ever be done. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-698, Judgmental Turtle, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.